As you may have remembered from one of the previous modules, we talked about the importance of the Zoom tool. It really is an inextricable part of the program. If you really want to navigate and navigate well, you truly have to understand what this incredible tool does. We can access it by hitting Control and Shift, and I have showed you how to do that. What I would like to talk about right now are navigation snapshots. This is another way to be able to move around the program. Now, the difference between what we did last time and this time is that the previous time we were actually creating a selection in real time. Now we're going to use another technology called storing a navigation snapshot. And I have this set to shift Z. And then by means of these two key commands, I can move forward and back in time. Let me show you what I mean. Now we could access the zoom tool here, but to be honest, it's much better if you just use the keyboard modifier control option. And so we will do that just now. That's one navigation snapshot. Let me store that by hitting shift Z. Let's do the same here. We will store this shift Z and one more tight view shift Z. Now remember, based on the key command window from here on out, if I hit the key command option Z, I can move back in time. And if I hit shift option Z, I can move forward in time. So let's try this out. Option Z moves me back. Here are all the various snapshots. Okay, and then if I hit shift option Z, I can move forward in time. So this is a really nice way of quickly recording a couple of different shots so that you can navigate the program with ease. I'm telling you, I've worked with thousands of people and this seems to be the one issue that never really goes away. So let's cut this at the bud. Let's make this work right now today. Spend a couple of minutes really learning how to navigate. If this particularly doesn't float your boat, then just learn how to use the Zoom tool and learn how to use it so well that nothing can perturb your peace of mind and your ability to navigate in Logic Pro. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.